Right guys, today I like to do something a bit different. I'm all about the recycling, about growing my own food and about art. So I wanna combine those three things and do something. So I've got an old drawer that was being thrown away, okay? So I tend to hang on to things for a while until I decide what I'm gonna do with them. This, I think, is gonna make a really cool planter. And in that, as shallow as it is, you can actually plant things to grow. So you can put flowers and you can put vegetables in it. For this, you could grow radishes, lettuce, whatever. But what I'd like to do is do some sign writing on the front to make it look good in the garden. So we can have a look at some different styles of sign writing. And then I'm gonna decorate this one up, plant it up and put it out there. Now you could do this with anything. I've planted um, seeds and plants in old shoe boxes. You can put that on a windowsill and you can grow something out of it that you can eat. So let's crack on and see how it gets on. Now one thing I do like that I really love when I see it is, um, do you know on barges and canal boats down on the river and down on the canal, you always see a sign on the side of them that says the name of the boat, which boat yard it's from, even the name of the people that live on it. I've always loved that style since I was a kid. So I want mine to be in that style. So I'm gonna start by doing some quick sketches of the sort of writing that I wanna put on mine. Pencil, eraser, paper. I've had to go just with a pencil, trying some different styles. I quite like the thick drop shadow that you get on traditional designs, so I'm gonna make mine look a bit like that. What I've done, I've marked up, just in pencil, the front of the drawer, okay? So now, hopefully you can see that. I've done a box for each letter. That I'm going to put on there so that gives me good spacing making it easy for myself so in the spaces I marked out I've done each letter only roughly and in pencil now let's just give me a guide when I start going on with my um, paints just to give me something so I can follow that line and then once we're done we'll actually be able to rub that off with an eraser so now we can start adding our proper outline And you see, it isn't perfect, but it's a start and a guide for how we're going to finish it. Right, I've got a flat sided brush, okay, which is really good for doing straight edges. I've got a tub of red acrylic paint. Now, what I'm going to do is start to paint this, but while I'm doing it, I'm gonna skip on over so we can have a look at some uh, artists that work with lettering. So I'm gonna crack on and then we'll come back and see how I'm getting on with it. So you need to go and check out Ben Ein. Good friend of Banksy and a London based letter writing artist whose work is all over the place in London and now all around the world as well. It's outstanding work with an easily recognisable style that he creates. He painted a series of shutters all around London which brought street art to the forefront. Up next, Roy Lichtenstein. Another pop artist 
easily recognisable and now worth an absolute fortune. His work was painted, but he made it to look like it had been mass produced or screen printed. Beautiful work with another outstanding style. Robert Indiana, one of the most famous letter artists there ever was. Working in the 60s in America, he used screen printing and painting to make some of the most outstanding artworks that have ever been made. Still super famous today and highly sought after. These pieces are amazing. And finally, one of my favorites, Ed Ruscha. This California based artist has been using words and letters since he started painting. His work again is super easily recognizable and massively collectible, well worth having a look at. Now with this waterproof pen, I'm just gonna add the drop shadow. So I'm gonna go along, I've done my drop shadow outline. Now if you skip back a few videos, there is a video all about perspective, so you can use that to see how to get your perspective right. I'm gonna fill this in, and then we're gonna put some more detail on. There we go, so now I've put a bit of green outline on there as well. So this is all Posca pen, all really simple, but it just makes it look quite presentable. So I'm just gonna add the final bit of detail and then we're gonna get it planted up. So, Who's not going to be happy to have something like that in the garden? Now, I've filled it with compost, just the normal stuff you get from the garden centre. And in there, they are actually watermelon plants, which I've grown from seed from a watermelon plant that we were eating. So it just shows you a bit of effort. You can grow what you want. So go for it. 